Good evening, hello and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18 and I am Poonam Burde. There's lots lined up for you on this Sunday edition, but let's get you started with some breaking news coming in. And this is a big shot in the arm for India's military prowess. The Indian Navy has successfully tested a BrahMos missile with indigenous seeker and booster. This was carried out in a successful precision strike in the Arabian Sea by ship. This is a big shot in the arm, a big boost to India's capability. Also, to the Made in India mission of the Prime Minister, especially as far as self-reliance is concerned in the field of defence. Akash, my colleague, joining us for more details on this. Akash, do put in perspective why this is significant. Uh, so, uh, Poonam, as you rightly mentioned, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is indigenous uh, seeker and booster. And a seeker is basically used to intercept the target and a booster is used for the initial thrust. And till now, we used to be dependent on Russia for a seeker, booster, and not only these two components, but al also the sustainer engine. But now, DRDO has basically designed, and, uh, designed this indigenous seeker and booster, Brahmos is our own missile, and we have today successfully tested uh, the Brahmos missile with, with our own indigenous seeker and booster, and the, uh, the uh, particular uh, you know, launch was precise, and it actually hit the target very precisely. And this is another success a story for India and also a big boost because as far as the conditions are concerned, we are focusing on Atman Nirbharta in all our forces. We are saying that by 2045, uh, we'll be attaining 100% Atman Nirbharta. And uh, in that respect, this particular development is very big, very important. And as far as uh, the, uh, the particular development is concerned, so we have been informed by Indian Navy that they have successfully tested this DRDO designs indigenous seeker and booster uh, with BrahMos missile. So this definitely is a big boost, uh, not just to the Atmanirvata campaign of uh, this particular government and of uh, the entire country, but this also reduces our uh, dependence on a country like Russia. It is also in uh, the context of the geopolitical ongoings uh, as we speak, isn't it? Exactly, and Poonam, uh, you know, uh, from last few years, given the fact that uh, Russia is in war with Ukraine and, uh, you know, we are dependent on Russia for not just only uh, the components of a missile, but on a number of things, uh, you know, uh, we used to uh, get our arms and ammunitions from Russia. But as of now, government of India is actually focusing on our Nirvata, uh, you know, uh, talking about uh, our defense, uh, our armed forces. Uh, so in Indian Navy, we have inducted INS Vikrant. In Indian Air Force, uh, you know, we have inducted Prachand and Tejas, and in Indian Army, we have uh, inducted a number of indigenous platforms. So our focus is on indigenization. And, uh, you know, given the fact that uh, country, any country can uh, go into warlike situation and uh, the dependent country actually pay the cost of that particular dependency. As far as uh, the current conditions are concerned, yes, uh, you know, Army Chief, Air Force Chief and Navy Chief, in fact, all chiefs have um, mentioned it several times that we, we are not that affected, but the fact is that we are also somewhere affected from this war and at such a time this particular development is a big development and uh, it is indeed uh, in the scenario where we are moving towards art and and where we claim that by 2045 India will be an art and country. Absolutely and it's not just about self-reliance in the field of defense it's also about privatization and private entities making their foray as far as boosting India's morale boosting India's capability is concerned. For the moment, Akash, thank you so much for getting us the latest. We are now shifting focus to the big political fight that is brewing 